happy. The only thing she knew her entire life was living in a cage. Ella was rescued from a lab. It's okay. She was so scared, she was shaking. She did not move for five days unless I just brought her outside. Ella, we gotta go potty. Good girl, it's okay. I would have to carry her back in because she was so deathly scared of the wind. She sat in the corner of my couch for days. Ella, was that ambience? Slowly but surely, she started coming out of her shell, pecking on the buttons on the back of my couch, trying to rip them off. Oh my God. And then she just jumped on my back, like randomly. Oh my God. What are you doing? Ella, is that a tail wag? Oh my gosh, I got the first tail wag. Those little moments started to gradually become bigger moments. She didn't know what a ball was, so it was so wild to her what it was doing and how it was rolling. I wanted to see what it would be like to give her an oversized tennis ball. And I was like, oh, we have a praying puppy now. She saw herself in the mirror and started barking at herself. It's okay. She was just terrified of life. And now, four weeks later, she is a happy-go-lucky goofball. I can't deal. The transition is night and day, and as a foster parent, it's so rewarding. Ella heading to her forever home. Getting all harnessed up? Almost. Go to her new little arm there. <laughs> I just dropped off Ella to her new family, and they seem amazing. And uh, super excited for her new life. I'm so happy that she found her forever home. She, for the first time, got to experience what it's like to be in a loving family.